Welcome back guys. Today we're going to take a look at this uh, Game Boy cartridge I picked up today. It's a used loose cartridge of Final Fantasy Adventure. I thought I'd take the time to um, perhaps take a look at how to clean it off and what I usually do whenever I get a brand uh, new cartridge in my collection that is a used cartridge. Uh, before I stick this into any Game Boy unit I like to make sure I have it all nice and cleaned out and I've done videos like this before but this is just one extra game I picked up and I saw a sticker on the back and I said, let me maybe try to see how we can clean this up. And I thought I'd film it real quick. So uh, one of the things obviously I want to do is get the sticker off here. Um, the outside of this looks pretty clean. Uh, what we're going to do is once we go inside, we're going to also check the uh, battery to see how the uh, charge is on it. Because this is a game that requires a battery to save your battery backup, save games. And uh, if it's not having such a good time and it's running kind of low, well, I got some backups here that we can maybe solder in a new one. Um, hopefully if it's still good, we'll just leave it as B. But for the meantime, we are going to at least clean this up. And uh, what I also did was, uh, depending on how it looks under here, I do see a little bit of yellowing here. Uh, this isn't a common game. This is a game that, well, you can see right here, it's a $44.99 game. Uh, I didn't pay that much for it. I ended up getting it for $10 after trading in an Amiibo. Um, but what I figured I would do is take a game like Cubillion here, which I've got a few of. It's a fairly common game. And uh, it also has a clean back on it. I think I picked these up for $2.50 a pop at the same store. And they're two for five bin, which at this point is relegated to Ashley, uh, Kate, and Mary Kate games and... Uh, a lot of IP related swill that everybody wants to buy. So <clears throat> I figured using one of these cheaper cartridges, maybe I'd swap the back off and give this more uh, quality game and cartridge, uh, higher priced value game, especially um, just a better back to it. It's a fairly easy process. Uh, so first of all, why don't we take the, screw out of this and we're going to take this apart uh, i'd rather do all this uh for, before i get started this is a tri-wing security not tri-wing geez what am i saying in this case this is a security bit I'm so used to thinking about game boy units um, this is a security bit screwdriver this will work on um, game boy cartridges from nintendo and nes cartridges as well so uh and um also i think super nintendo I'm trying to remember, yeah, because there's a separate one for the Genesis, which is an entirely different bit. You can get these on Amazon pretty cheap, but we're just going to undo this uh, screw here. doesn't take much to pop it out. As a matter of fact, we're just going to do like that. And uh, we'll put that up here and out of the way. Uh, and then what you do is you just slide the top off like this. Hasn't been opened in probably a long time, so um, it might be a little crusty. So we're going to take a quick look at this battery here. This is the original battery. Uh, they're pretty easy to replace if you have a little bit about soldering. I have that also in another video. Um, you can get the replacement uh, batteries. In this case, uh, this battery is a um, 1616. And if you look right there, you can see it says 1616. It actually tells you what type of battery to put in here. And I believe that's even the... Uh, date of uh, service here, which is July of 1991, which is about what this game, uh, at the time frame this game came out. Um, you get replacement batteries fairly cheap on Amazon or on eBay. I got a mess of them here because I've been swapping them out as I get them. Um, sometimes these batteries are perfectly fine, other times they're pretty much dead. So, what I'm going to do is get my uh, multimeter here. And uh, we're going to do a little test to see how this is going. So as I've shown in a previous video, um, what we want is a battery that is above uh, 3. 3.0 here. So we got a 3.25. So in this case, this is a pretty charged battery. It almost makes me think this battery has barely ever been used. Uh, anything below a 3 on average, like if it was like a 2.95 even, I'd probably replace it. But in this case, 
as you can see, it's 3.25. So I think we're good. Uh, you know, I'm not going to take the time to replace this just yet. Um, I know some people would say, no, nah, no, nah, you're in there, do it. But I don't know. I mean, it seems to be fine. Um, so if anything, eventually what I want to do is get a um, device that I can back up my save games. And that way later on, uh, save the save games to a computer and you can flash them back onto a new uh, battery. All right, so the first step we're going to do here is, before we get to these uh, plastic pieces, is uh, you can see along here in the bottom, uh, this, uh, the connection here. You can see it's a little, it's got some grub on it. Not too bad. I mean, the cartridge would probably work fine, but who knows? Sometimes it gets scrambled. And uh, this is a pretty clean Game Boy I have here. I, it's all cleaned out. I'd rather not uh, bring in dirt. Uh, to a new clean system that I know I've cleaned. So regardless, I'm going to go in here and I have a little bit of 91% um, uh, isopropyl alcohol. You can get this from this is particular target. Um, and I got some Q-tips. And most importantly, I have this here. This is a Stettler. This is like a hard plastic eraser. I actually think these are the best to use. I mean, a rubber eraser will work. Even a, a something from like a... Um, Number two pencil, uh, but these are higher quality, and I think they just give a little more grit to it. So first thing I like to do is uh, get some. Um, don't ask me why these are in a plastic container. I don't know. I think these are just some extras I threw in here at the time. Uh, let's put a little this uh, IPA on the bottom here of a Q-tip. There you go. So I like to make sure I got some one there. It's kind of low, and uh, I just want to run this across back and forth here. You can see, I don't know if you can tell in the camera, but do you see that? How that dirt, you can see the dirt that came off it. So we're already making some kind of an impact in terms of uh, cleaning the uh, game here. Want to make sure you have a nice uh, contact for when this goes inside the uh, Game Boy. Do not ever use water. Only use isopropyl alcohol. It's kind of an electronics best friend, so to speak. So anytime you want to do any kind of cleaning like this, um, regardless of what Nintendo may have said on the on the back of their cartridges, um, you can use this to clean your your uh, contacts on your game and any of the electronic uh, parts. Certainly better than blowing in the cartridge. You can already kind of tell it's a little shinier. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I don't have a towel on me, I don't think. And we're just going to let that dry off a minute. And then from here, it dries pretty quick. It is alcohol after all. From here, what we're going to do is take this uh, hard eraser. And we're just going to go, and go like this. Back and forth over the contacts. So yes, I am a lunatic because I do this every single time I get a new game, at least a new game in terms of a new game in my collection um, that has been used and loose and thrown around for, in this case, 32 years. This game is pretty old. You can see that, right? You see the difference there? It's already kind of cleaned up, right? And then I just run this alcohol over it a little again, just to kind of brush away any debris that might be there. Not the filthiest cartridge, but it's definitely cleaned up quite a bit. So that's pretty much all there is to that. So that part is done. Um, what I want to do now, though, is I want to see if I can get this sticker off. Uh, there's really no, depending on the sticker, which is, you know, this is kind of cool. I'm going to take, I want to see some, this is, the, this red here is the sticker. It drives me crazy that these stores put these stickers on these cartridges. Um, th this, this store in particular, these, these, um, these tags are usually pretty easy to get off, but it's already on top of paper already. 
I was curious to see what it was going to say underneath this here, but it looks like it's just a number. Obviously, this was from a, uh, a store that rented games out, uh, <laughs> so it's kind of funny. This is actually coming right off, though, so I may not have to do anything too crazy. I don't know if this is coming over right in the lighting. I mean, it's very particular, uh, but you can see there's some staining here around the edges. And for the most part, the other side of this cartridge is in pretty nice uh, shape. It's got some little bit of stains down here, but nothing too major. The label's pretty decent. There's a couple little nicks here. But uh, it's a fairly good shape for the $10 I paid. So I'm going to get rid of this, and uh, I'm going to put it on to a Cubillion. Uh, but while I've got this open, I might as well, let me get a Q tip. What I might as well do is um, clean this out just as much as possible. So, what I like to do is I like to run this around the bottom here. You can see it's a little dirty. I'm going to show you. You can see, like, there's a line of dirt right there. Once again, this isn't quite as bad as uh, some of the games I've seen. But in other words, uh, I mean, I do this process regardless anyway. Because your eye sometimes doesn't catch everything. I don't go too crazy with the alcohol. I mean, it, it's not really the best friend of plastic, obviously. Uh, but a little bit's not going to hurt. Especially when you just immediately dry it afterwards. I usually do the other side, like the drying part. Some kind of debris in there. But anyway, okay. So let's take a Q billion here. Let's see, which one's got the nicer backing? They're both fairly the same, I guess. I'm going to go with this one here. So we're going to redo the same process pretty much. Um, this car cartridge here I've already cleaned out, so I'm not going to really probably bother um, going too crazy here with it. Uh, but this this is a fairly common game. This, this is a game that you can get for under five dollars. So I'm going to use it as a donor for this backing. And we're just going to slide this right on top like that. You always want to start with the back half when you put a, a board into these things. And you're going to want the contacts, the gold trim, to go towards you, face you. I'm just going to take that. You start at the bottom. You'll see there's like these little notches on the side here. And there's little notches on this here. And they kind of just lay in there. And then slide up. This is kind of magnetic, but... Hold on, what's going on? Try again. Oh, I think I might have. Let me just use my fingers. It's hard to get in there sometimes. Um, just jostled it off a little bit as I was screwing it. You don't want to go too tight with this, just enough that you get some resistance. Right, so that's done. And um, for the most part, I don't like to really touch the front of the game where the label is because uh, the alcohol will uh, totally just it'll fade out and ruin the art on these. Um, some of the newer games have a uh, have like almost like a, a layer of a little extra plastic on the top because I have gotten Sharpie off of a uh, Pokemon Crystal and it was almost like it was never there. I, I took a very damp cloth and just wiped it over real soft and uh, it, it cleaned up pretty well the front of this isn't bad though i don't want to screw around too much and um, no matter how careful you are sometimes it just kind of 
will pour over, you know, drip over into the edges here and get caught. Um, back of this seems pretty decent shape, so. All right, so what we're gonna do is, and as I said before, I've already kind of cleaned this one from Cubillion. Um, and we're gonna do the same, oops, with some fuzz here. <laughs> we're gonna cut, pop this in here, and the uh, same process as we just did for Cubillion. We're gonna slide this on top. Close this up, and uh, geez, I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to replace the battery, but at the same time, if I don't have to solder, I'm not going to solder. And I've already done it in another video. Uh, but there you have it. It's a little cleaner looking now. And uh, a little more presentable to go back into my collection. I've never had this game. Uh, back in the day, I had Final Fantasy Legend, which I think I stupid. I don't know why I did it. I think I know I sold a lot of games at the time on eBay, but this was back in 90, 98. I think it was 98, 99, 98, 99. One of the first things I did was uh, I, I sold some games on eBay. I mean, at the time, these weren't old games. These games were only a few years old. And one of them was uh, Final Fantasy Legend, and I think I sold it for like, I don't know, $30, $40. I think I needed new tires on my car. The part that really stung was I uh, eBayed off a um, complete in-box snatcher, and uh, I think I only sold it for like maybe $65 at the time. So, yeah, that's one of my life mistakes, I guess you could say. <laughs> but who would have known at the time? All right, so anyway, what we're going to do is, uh, let's clean this up a minute, put this away, and uh, got some batteries in here. Another thing, never leave batteries in your Game Boy units, uh, because they will uh, leak all over the place. So if you're ever going to put these things in storage, don't ever leave the batteries in them. Pro tip, okay? This is a Japanese model. I think I got this from my brother. I replaced the screen on it. Well, the, the uh, glass, anyway, and kind of cleaned it up quite a bit. All right, let's give us a shot, see what happens. Lighting looks half decent. There you go. Looks like we got somebody's uh, save is on here. Maybe we'll take a look and see how far this person got. Level 12. Got two uh, save files in here. Is there any way to go back? Let's start a new game. We'll do the intro. So this game uh, has been remade. They, I knew that. It's probably going to ask me to get rid of something, right? Oh boy. Do I need myself here? Girl. A little touchy. Actually, I just realized I can go back. Ah, my OCD is getting to me. I should have made it lower case. You start out as like a gladiator. It's a fighter or is it Empire Gladiator? Just for the entertainment, Dark Lord may fighters have fallen from their wounds. Looks pretty good, huh? 
Game Boy Pocket is definitely my favorite of the uh, Game Boy systems, including Game Boy Color. The way this screen pops is just, I think, awesome. It just sucks in the light. There's no way this game would look nearly as good on a, a normal OG Game Boy. Plus, the thing takes a mere two AAA batteries, rather. And the, they last a while, and it's so tiny, you just pop it right in your pocket. So anyway, um, I think that about wraps up this video, unless people want to keep watching me play this, but not much happens at the beginning here, as far as I remember. I think you escaped this place. I think I have to go fight this guy again. I remember it being a cool game from what I played. I never owned it. I used to play it on the emulators. So it's kind of neat to own it. It's just I wasn't paying $45, $50 for it. I don't pay that much for these games. None of these games are really that rare. So sometimes the value of them, especially the, the, the way the market is these days, is a little ridiculous. That's why I kind of stopped collecting Game Boy cartridges at the moment. This is a, a fun, um, almost like Zelda um, Link's Awakening kind of thing. From Square Enix. Or just Square at the time. And uh, if you haven't played it, I recommend it. Let's try to get a good deal on it. So, that about wraps it up for now. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time. Take care.